Well, here's my homemade bucket loader. It's got some miles on it now. I've had to grade my driveway about four times because it keeps washing out with every friggin' rain. Um, the first video I made really didn't have a lot of detail, or if any, so basically what I did is I used a old motor hoist, um, electric actuators, and turned a straight blade basically on its side, welded some side pieces on it. I didn't have a thick enough grade piece of steel for the back. So I just used a temporary board, which surprisingly has held up very well. Um, I moved several hundred pounds of dirt in it the other day and it had no problems. Um, this is about a, I think, about a 300 pound actuator. It holds up really well. For a single actuator on the front, it does very well. Um, the only problem is I got to get a pin because the bolt that I put in there bent but I wasn't really too concerned about it at the time. It just was a temporary thing. I put a drag hook here so I can drag stuff out, woods, whatnot. Um, the actuator is not tractor supply, but um, northern tools. I got some heavy shear pins here. I can remove the bucket loader if I like to. Uh, never see the need to. I mow the grass and everything else with it on there. Um, it's fully controlled with this here. You go, you know, this was actually from a Bruno chair lift uh, for like a handicapped cart. I just took the controls out and fixed them up underneath the, the cow there and works out really well it's something i might change i don't really it's inter integrated so like the up and down also controls the bucket when i want the bucket to work and I, i'm not a big fan of that i did mount a on and off switch so i can basically turn it on and off as i please um i don't really have any dimensions on it i just winged it as i went but uh it goes up pretty high and it functions really well. I'm really happy with it. The uh, control it'll lift. It's got pretty good lift. It go up higher. It actually does go up higher. And this is what I meant by the integrated. So you gotta, and then the buck it tilts. As it drops and I'm not a big fan of that I might change that but I mean it lifts it It puts more strain on the battery because it's running all three actuators at once that way with that integration. I'm not a big fan of that. But it does work, and for right now, it's doing exactly what I want it to do. I basically wired it back here to the battery, put an inline fuse, things like a 20 amp, 25 amp. Works good. Does everything I want it to do so far. Not hard to build. It was a very simple build. I just took an old motor hoist, um, took the, the slide legs out of it. These were the, the legs, and then these right here just slid out of those, had wheels on them. I took, cut them apart, and made myself a bucket loader. And that thing will work. It works real good. Thank you.